Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shakayla Mituan, and if you're new here, I am a full-time reseller, and I predominantly sell on Poshmark, and I also sell on Mercari and eBay. Today I wanna to share the top 10 brands that made me the most money on Poshmark last year. I was going through my closet and I looked into my closet insights, which I'll show you guys exactly how to do. I was going through my closet insights and I love to analyze information. I love to learn information and see, okay, what does this mean? How can this information help me improve my business? And when I was going through my closet insights, which let me tell you guys how to get to it. So what you do is, so the first thing you wanna do is access your Poshmark page and in the top right corner, you're gonna click the wrench. Then you're gonna click more seller tools. After you click more seller tools, you will access another drop down menu. You're gonna click my closet insights. After you reach this page, you can specify the day, the week, the month, or the year that you want to look at. And you scroll down and you can see a graph and it's called brand insights. Here you can see all the brands that are basically your top selling brands. So it's a really useful tool that you should take advantage of um, if you do have a Poshmark. So I was going through this on my own Poshmark page and I looked at the top 10 brands that sold and made me the most money last year. So I want to go ahead and share that with you all and see if we have some brands in common as far as what's selling, what's making you the most money on your page. Okay, so looking at my information, I'm gonna go from one to 10, one being what made me the most money, 10 what being what made me the least out of the top 10. So number one was Coach. And I was not at all surprised that Coach made me the most money last year because every time that I go thrifting or consignment shopping, I always pick up Coach as long as it's in pretty good condition. Um, not a lot of scratching or, or flaws on the bag. The zipper works as long as everything works. It's somewhat um, trendy looking. And I always pick up the vintage bags. People love vintage coach. Um, so I never leave it as long as it looks somewhat decent. Even when there's a ton of wear on some of the vintage bags, they will sell. Now, if you get, some, if you get an up to date bag and there's a lot of wear on it, I wouldn't pick that up. But the vintage ones, people still want them. So. I sold the most coach and I was not at all surprised by that. The number two brand that made me a ton of money was Dooney and Burke. Yeah, I can't say it, Dooney and Bork. I always like to say Dooney and Burke. So Dooney and Burke, this is another brand that I always pick up when it comes to the handbags. Um, they make them with all other leather. Between the leather and the hardware on these bags, they are so heavy duty and they stand the test of time. Um, I know my mom, she used to collect these bags back when I was really, really young. She used to have so many Dooney and Burke bags and she had a few that she had kept them for years and years and years and they still looked incredible. Um, these bags stand the test of time, they last forever and they're always in high demand. So I always pick these bags up and people tend to buy them. Um, even if it takes a while to sell them, when they do buy them, they will pay good money for them. The third brand is St. John. St. John, this was a brand when I first started out, I didn't know much about until I started doing my research. Um, I learned more about St. John. It's a very expensive brand and it's one of those brands that it pretty much keeps its value. Whenever I see St. John, I go ahead and pick it up. Even if it's a very vintage looking style, people like that. They love it. The customers love it. Um, the pieces always are of great quality. And even if something isn't my style, it's always something that I would wear. Like if you touch a St. John piece, um, the, the, the material is always thick. Um, there's usually some stretch to it. So it, it, it forms to anyone's body. It just, they make incredible pieces. In St. John, I usually, I usually sell it for at least $100, at least. And um, so if you find the blazers, the jackets, the skirts, or the pants, <laughs> pick them up because they do pretty well on Poshmark and eBay for me. Um, I get quite a bit of response from eBay on St. John items. Number four is Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher, now last year Eileen Fisher was doing okay for me. This year, not so much. Um, 
And even la last year, I started lowering my prices on Eileen Fisher. Um, but I'm not surprised that it is number four on my list because at one point it did, I could sell it for quite a bit. Um, $50, $60 for a cardigan. Um, but now I focus more on getting the outerwear. I actually have a piece right here um, that I picked up probably a week or two ago. And it's Eileen Fisher, it's brand new with tags. It's a really cool jacket. And it's kind of like a raincoat type of jacket. And yeah, it's brand new tags. It is an extra small, so it's pretty tiny, but I had to pick it up because it's brand new. And so I went ahead and picked that up. But yeah, so I stick to the outerwear now, and um, I do pick up some cardigans. I actually recently just got a black cardigan. Let me show you guys. I picked this cardigan up. It's a really nice Eileen Fisher cardigan, and it's long. And it's a size large. So I got this. It's, it has a really pretty texture to it as well. Um, it's in great condition. And so I went ahead and picked it up. Even though I'm not having the best fortune with Eileen Fisher, I just had to pick it up. I guess I might have made an emotional buy. But I think it will eventually sell because it is a solid color. And... Um, but yeah, Eileen Fisher, it just doesn't sell for as much as it used to. But you can still sell it. But yeah, I'm totally not surprised that Eileen Fisher made me quite a bit of money last year. <laughs> Next on the list is number five, which is UGG, the brand UGG. Okay, so last year I I got some UGG slippers and they actually sold pretty quickly. Um, but I sold some UGG slippers and I had several boots that I sold last year. And you can sell them for a pretty good amount. Usually $80, $90 is what I will put them up for when they're used, as long as they're in really, really good condition. I did have a pair of boots last year, guys. I got some Uggs. They were pink. They were like a mauve pink. And they took almost an entire year. They may, they might've taken like eight or nine months to sell. And I just, I couldn't understand why these boots weren't selling. I mean, they were in perfect condition, excellent. Um, I had a really good price on them and they took forever to sell and then I went ahead and got some Ugg slippers and they sold pretty quickly but yeah Ugg it sells it sells um, and I think with Ugg it's really good to get like the tan boots those are the most popular that's the most popular color when you go to getting different colors it could take a little time because i know even like two years ago i'm getting a little off topic but about two years ago i bought some orange uggs and they took a little while to sell someone eventually bought them um for a decent amount but they uh yeah they took a little while to sell so um the thing about it is a lot of these brands some of them may take a while to sell especially when you have brands that you price really high they may take a while to sell but when you do sell them they make you the bulk of your money. So um, that's just something to think about when you are sourcing. Okay, you have to think, even if you have to wait a little while, as long as you make a decent amount, it's still a good, still a good brand to pick up in my mind. Next on the list is number six, which is Madewell. So I sold quite a bit of Madewell. I know last year I had Madewell handbags and a lot of Madewell jeans. Um, and I even bought a, a few Madewell tops. I didn't buy a ton of Madewell tops, but I mostly bought the jeans and the bags. Like the bags do even better than the jeans, I have to tell you. Um, so yeah, this was one of the top brands and it's one of the top brands because you can resell it for a pretty good amount. I mean, you can sell the jeans for $50, $60. The handbags, you can get around the same amount. So, um, that's a really good brand up to pick up. Michael Kors is number seven. So I, for a while, I wouldn't pick up Michael Kors. And then I realized, well, a lot of people really do like Michael Kors. They really do like that brand. So I started picking up the wallets. The wallets do really good. Um, like I said, with any item you pick up, as long as you find something that doesn't have a ton of wear on it, um, and if it does have a small flaw, just notate it in the description you should do pretty good selling Michael Kors wallets. I get the wristlets. I get the little boxy wallets like that. Um, and they tend to sell for a decent amount. Number eight 
is Tory Burch and I think the only reason Tory Burch is number eight on this list is probably because I didn't buy a lot of Tory Burch because Tory Burch it sells for a good amount and it tends to sell pretty quick so I must have not had very much Tory Burch maybe I had just two or three items or something for it to be number eight on the list but nonetheless it did do pretty good when I did get it Lou Lemon is number nine Number nine for Lululemon. I'm guessing I didn't have very much Lululemon. Now with Lululemon, I I only get the leggings. I know I've said this before. If you watch some of my other videos, you've heard this before. I get the leggings. I like to get the outerwear, jackets, the vests. I don't get the the sports bras. I don't get um, the tops. But if the leggings are in good condition, I get those. I really don't get. I don't think I've ever got any black Lululemon leggings. I usually get something with a design or print on it because I feel like you want your item to stand out. And I'm sure people have so many black Lululemon leggings on Poshmark and eBay. So I, I like to find something with a design, something that's not so basic looking so that my leggings can stand out to the customers. Zara is number 10 on the list and I distinctively remember finding a lot of Zara in while thrifting like I would find I would find Zara in the Goodwill and a lot of it would be new with tags um I found quite a bit of it consignment shopping um last year so it wasn't always really it wasn't always current Zara pieces but it was always you know pieces that were in really good condition and um yeah they were new with tags so when I see Zara new with tags, you can't sell it for a ton. I mean, unless you probably have like a coat or something, but it still does sell and people love Zara and they're always looking for it. So um, I like to pick it up when I can find it new with tags. So those were the top brands that made me the most money in 2021. Let me know down below what brands make you the most money on your Poshmark, your Macari, and your eBay page. And go ahead and hit the like button, guys. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you've made it this far with me. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.